I'm not still part of this. I'm not still not doing this. You made me do. You made you made me reach a high level because you talk about things and the, the the your expertise and I can't wait and be putting it out in the atmosphere when you do your thing so you can make us think, Sherman Gartrell. Put you need to open it up outside or something. <laughs> hey, 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 these microphones are real. <laughs> but did the bottle shop? Did what we do? But man, um, I love what we doing, man. And um, I, I done had so much fun with the two episodes that we have done. Um, and bruh, cause like I say, it's making me dive deeper into um the high school and scholastic sports. And um, I, I just I just thank y'all for bringing your boy aboard and letting us do this, man. And um, hey, yeah, y'all know what it is. So, and that's what I've always tell people. Um, my job in the, in this barbershop, we don't do interviews. We have conversations, and um, my job is to make sure that you're comfortable enough to have a conversation. And if I can't make you comfortable, I have failed at what I do. And my goal is not to fail. Um, that's why I think this thing. It's a little bit different from the way everybody else, because everybody else does interviews. We have conversations, because conversations is what's going to help my community. And the conversations that we've had on the two shows we did at, at Simp, Simply I Make Plays, we changing the narrative on that word. The conversation that we had, I, I, I really and truly believe that it ha has helped and it's going to continue to help some youth, some parents understand scholastic sports and where they're headed. And man, I, I, I am honored to be a part. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, Will, I ain't gonna lie, but it, 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 it aches a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I know I'm still in my prime, but whew, <laughs> the recovery time is a little different now. <laughs> Ice hot. Hey man, I need some icy hot. <laughs> I need some some ginger, some turmeric, <laughs> some 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 brags, um apple cider vinegar, <laughs> boy, some alcohol, the green kind. <laughs> Come on. <boy. laughs> that thing get a little rough sometimes. <laughs> yes, sir, the green one. Y'all know the green one? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. But I mean, I, I like I say, man, I, I'm just so appreciative and like I say, to be able to have conversations with Will Sane regularly again, man. And Coach Wells, man, just watching him and, 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 and the wealth of knowledge that he has about, you know, the, the, the high school sports and high school. Now, he cheers for Clemson, but we ain't gonna hold that against him. But, um, you know it takes all kinds of, but you know, <laughs> but that's my guy. For the village. Hey, hey, it's part of yeah, it's part of the village. Amen. Part of the village. Um, yes sir, for yes sure. sir, yes sir. Anybody got any questions for my my guys? Uh, feel free. We, we got them. We got them live right here, right now. Um, 
anything else y'all want to say and then let y'all know I am working on trying to get us an intro. So <laughs> I made some, I shout out some people today trying to get our intro right, but we're going to get this thing, man. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Hey, I got something to say. Absolutely. Same, you good? <laughs> hey, hey, same, it's one of them nights in the barber shop where um it's random ish. Um you know we got hey, the strike is over. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey, the, hey man, the strike is over. The, the strike is over on Tuesday. The um longshore workers from Texas on up to Maine went on strike. Tenfo. And uh, they were like, no more. We ain't doing this. Y'all making too much bread. And y'all trying to get rid of our job with this whole animation thing. Right. Um, so for well, since the storms of last week, we've been in a panic. And then when they went on strike, oh my God. We can't get supplies. We can't do this. We can't do that. So this side of the country has been shut down from Texas on up to Maine. On the other side of the country, they got they got theirs figured out. Um, the strike is over. What does that mean? Um, I got two guys that's familiar with strikes and negotiations and things of that nature. Um, slim fit and sensitive. He's part of U, the UPS family where they just earlier this year uh, had negotiations, had had a plan, it fell through, came, and so, and, and I got Postmaster Joker, who who's in the the, 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 the post office business, that thing is crazy. So let's talk about this. The strike is over, but how bad could it have been? Will, come from where you at? You down in Florida now. How bad, how bad, first of all, coming off the storm, how bad was it, is it, and with this strike, what did that do for um, you and where you at now? Hello. Oh man, 
I cut, they got cut off. Keep going. Keep going. So, well, my thing about, especially when you're talking about the East Coast strike, right? from, from what I read, it's like every, two out of every three containers that can enter the United States come through the East Coast support. So that's major. I know the West Coast did they deal for 33% raises, they do one out of three. So it worked for them. But these guys on the East Coast are working longer, harder, and more. So I think that, to me, I was a union person at one point in time, and I got in management, but man, there's, 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 there's voice and numbers, so, and if you want, the great thing about a union is like, if you need something pushed across, yeah, yeah, yeah we, oh, y'all back? Can y'all hear me? Oh, no, hey, no, no, no. We good. We good? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, now, um, like I say, I was asking you, would you been in Florida, how have you been affected? And, 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 and Coach Wells, we gonna come to you because you are directly in the city where a lot of this thing went down, so you're next. But um, Will, how does that thing has have affected you and where you at? <laughs> now, Wells, Wells, you in Savannah, Georgia, um, where a lot of the longshoremen are, a lot of the ports are. What was that thing like in, in your city? Holiday season, yeah. Holiday, election and holiday season. Just a response. Um, I think the strike, we wouldn't feel the full effect of that strike, that strike until probably like maybe two weeks or next week, maybe a week or two in. They settled in two days. Yeah. Right? So I think these people where, where Will and um, Coach Wells Coach Wales are, it's more a trip to the hurricane. You know what I'm saying? It's not about the strike. The strike was short. Mm -hmm. We never, like I'm saying, we know we're talking about the strike, but the strike was never really a strike. 
two days, right? Yep. So if it was longer than that, then we would have had supply issues and, and all this, uh, the cost would went up, but they settled that. Yeah. So it's not even, it's a non issue right now. But the biggest thing is like they're getting help to those people in these communities that suffer from this hurricane. Yeah. They got roads blocked, lines down. Like Biden just said, hey, I got, I got everything you need, but I can't get it to you. Yeah. And um, so a guy that I um, was in the Navy with, we on the chat line, and he's part of the trying to get the cleanup. And when the strike started, his biggest thing was getting supplies to his people so they can get some of this stuff up. So with it just being a two-day strike, they still behind. But now, St. Nick, that's what you call him, but we like to call him sensitive. Um, Skinny jeans. Skinny jeans, slim fit. Slim fit. Uh, you <laughs> have been a part of this thing. You've been a, a steward in trying to get these negotiations for strikes and things. How important was this that it ended as quickly as it did? Well, um, first of all, um, it hasn't ended. Um, okay. okay. It, was, it was suspended, so um, okay. that makes a big difference when you're union. Uh -huh. um, they were supposed to report back Friday, I think I was reading, um, I think on the East Coast, it's 62% increase in yes. wages over six years. Over six years, yes. But that's not in cement. All they agreed to was to stop striking and go back to work Friday. Okay. Yes. So that makes a big difference because that can turn around to be three, four, five weeks. The next thing you know, they're not agreeing. They say 58, we say 62, and they say, well, we're going back on strike. That's, oh. just, that's just how that goes. Okay, so the word suspended and ended. That's a totally different because nothing's been signed. Oh, nothing hasn't been signed. I, I've been through this what twice in at UPS, so um, it's positive, uh -huh. but nothing's in concrete. Right. So um, we'll just have it's a wait and see. <laughs> okay, now your your, your business, um, UPS, y'all are predicated off the trucks getting this stuff in this stuff. Were y'all impacted? Are y'all impacted? If if we would have, the thing about it is that we never went on strike this year. Uh -huh. uh, we went on strike in the past, which was over 20 years ago, and I wasn't with the company. Uh -huh. But we never went on strike this year. Uh -huh. What they did, they came up with a tentative agreement, and right before the, well, actually, after the contract ended, which was August the 1st of last year, mm -hmm. um, they came up with an agreement. Two weeks later, it was in writing. Mm -hmm. With this right here, it's nothing in writing. It's just like you got labor and you got the workers sitting there and they're trying to complete a deal. Yeah. They might say 58, they say 62, next thing you know, they fighting over millions of dollars because that percentage, that 0.5% is a lot of money, mm -hmm. especially when you're in corporate America, you know, somebody like UPS. So it's a negotiation still. They just agreed to continue working Friday and try to punch this thing up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the impact is, um, if they would have went on strike, I'm, I'm, I'm with Lee. A couple of days, you might not have seen it, but three, four weeks, you would have seen a big impact. When we're talking about gas, we're talking about supplies, we're talking about food, we're talking about meds. Yeah. Um, and it's going to impact every big company, Amazon, Walmart, it's going to impact everybody. So um, I'm glad we kind of like on the positive side of that. I don't think we might not see that, but it would have been huge. It would have been way huger than UPS going on strike. Okay. <laughs> a lot. Hey, Slam, just, just pick it back on that. So, so with your knowledge of working unions, with them just suspending it, is that positive? Yeah, that like, I, work, like, like, yeah, like I real said, positive? like I said, that's a positive. They're saying, okay, we will talk. So, we would, so, yes, we, we, so if, you had, if you had to put it on a weighted scale of get deal done, done, what we at? Based on your based on your experience from working with you, I would say eighty twenty. Okay. Okay. 
I would say 80 20, mm -hmm. but it only takes. And I think Larry knows this. Yeah, we call yeah. it Christmas. Yeah. It, it only it don't it only takes one person who has a big big money in this company to say, no, I'm not giving them 62. I'll give them 58 because that's they're going to lose millions of dollars. Yeah, Larry, let's hear your side because you work for the United Postal. You work for the mail folks. Oh, sir. Well, well, the difference with us is we have an agreement. We we don't strike. So. When the contract is, if when the contract runs out, if we have a disagreement, we have a, we run through on the previous contract right. until the next contract is negotiated. Right. We 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 have that agreement because we do not strike and we do not lay off. Right. So we'll never lay off our employees, and our employees will never strike. Okay. So that that's the difference. But being in management, we still negotiate because we still negotiate contracts. We still negotiate the local. Memorandums of understanding the local LMLU, so mm -hmm. you still have to be able to come together and, like Sam said, all, all they basically done is said, "We're going back to the table in exactly. good faith." Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's all they done, right. which is good. Right. It's, right. it's better than the alternative. Right. Exactly. But it only takes one on each side mm -hmm. because it still has to be ratified from the union perspective mm -hmm. on whatever they decide they're going to do. And management still has to decide what they're going to offer, right? And you know, usually that's 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 a that's a wide gap, wide gap, right? between what union wants and what management is willing to give. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the only thing that that what I read on is like since COVID, these companies have had an eighty. Uh, eight hundred percent increase, and I know that don't mean anything to the common person, but an eight hundred increase. You don't think the employees know that? In financial, no. They, you know what I'm saying? They, and they working for the same little piece, and then they got to deal with the biggest thing. Like it's two things to deal with. Like Rick said, it's the money. They won't pay, get paid a little bit more because they're a little bit harder. And then they, then companies are doing AI. Well, so well deserved. Right. And what you can get. Are two different things. Right. Yeah. I agree. You, I agree. You, you may deserve it. Right. But what can you negotiate at the time? I agree that. Because, because, we'll so, say, what's one of your favorite <laughs> saying? Well, well, with you saying that, is that that's the reason they striking. Oh, you know no, not, not disagreeing. Not, they, not, not disagreeing. Not disagreeing. Don't say like like they, they are well informed right that's, now. That's what the union is for. Because even though we throw out, that's, they already know. That's what. You that's, what, what that's what eight hundred. That's what eight hundred. That's what the union is for. But we we have to remember. As as I like as I like to talk, we have to remember American Airlines. Yeah, they sure. negotiated themselves right out of business. They sure right. did. The union said, "I want this." Management said, "I'm gonna give you this." Right. They never could meet, and now there's no there's no such thing. Well, Come on. well Larry, Larry, one thing about that is. <laughs> One thing about that is like comparing like when you having these freights coming from overseas to, to American Airlines, that's tomatoes, tomatoes, because you still got these other airlines that can provide the service. I get but it. But you closing the whole eastern seaboard I that is responsible for two out of three cargo tra I, trailers into this country. I, I that's a bigger difference than you talking about I'm just saying I, I, I see what you're saying, but I that's, understand. that's tomatoes and oranges but comparison. What, what you have to understand is coming from coming from the union. Mm, yeah, it's totally different. It's totally man. different because okay. because listen, what what management is gonna try to negotiate is, okay, I'm gonna give Sam who's been here twenty five years that's that's sixty two. Mm -hmm. But anybody that comes under him I'm not. It depends. So on, it, it depends, depends on the, on the negotiating right. contract, right. Right. and right. there are going to be different tactics to it. Right. So, all money ain't good money. Right. But it may be top heavy. It may be. Hey, it one depends thing on that, how it how it's laid right. out. That's but all I'm saying. Right. But no, negotiating is <laughs> good. That's the point. That, that's all. I'm, I'm on both sides. I was yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. I, I, I was too. But but negotiating good faith, and a lot of times. You already know this, and I was on the management side. We do, it's not a good faith negotiation. That, you know what I'm saying? Like there's me some by it's, numbers. It's, it's not. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not numbers. because so you negotiate go, negotiating good faith. You made eight hundred. When, when, when you that's you percent but you, increase. You're looking at negotiating good faith doesn't I, mean I've split my profits no, 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 50-50. No, no. no. Negotiating in good faith I don't mean. Think, I don't, I, Now, in, in what we call the employee labor, labor management mm -hmm. book for the post office, fair is only mentioned twice. Mm -hmm. Fair day's work, 
for FedEx pay. That's right. it. That's it. Right. That's the only thing that's fair mm -hmm. in a labor management agreement. Right. A fair day's work for fair day's pay. Right. When we come and we bring it to the table, it's about what am I willing to give up? What are you willing to give up? Right. That is a fair negotiation. That's all we're trying to right. do. What am I going to sacrifice? To get you back, what are you right. willing to sacrifice to get what you want? Because yeah. that's all it's going to boil down to. You know what? You're right about that. That's why they suspend everything. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Because if they're not going to make any money, if these containers cannot move, they not. So, so, but they at the same, but at the same time, they not going to make any money. It's a lot of. Uh, it's a, you got to think. Right, 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 right. right. No, no. Nobody going to make. Now, let me ask you this: Out of the two that's not going to make money, the worker or the management. Who's gonna hurt faster? The worker, worker. Right. That's that's right. what you right. have to remember. But, you, but that's that, that's the point of a strike. Like you willing when you go on a strike, you, you already know you're not gonna make money. So you are standing on principle. You have to. So and you are willing to sacrifice it all to get what you want. And and, and the crazy thing about it, like these companies, what they do is, like, okay, well, they ain't gonna go on strike. They go on strike to go for two weeks, two days, because they gonna run out of paycheck. But when you stand strong on that line. That that gonna say it all. You think you think these men people come down there and run these cranes, uh, ship these carts around, uh, drive these ships? But no, not. that's not what they gonna do. But what they will do is bring in me, who ain't never. Drove. Okay. <laughs> They're bringing. They, they, right. they go. They, no, no, no. I get what you're saying. You're no, right. No, you're no, right, I get, right. I absolutely right. get what you're saying. Right. But no, we ain't gonna put out what they putting out. Right. But we still gonna. And I'm still gonna make some money. Right. 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 You're not gonna they make not, it. They're not trying that. Oh, uh, they, they try that every time people oh, are trying. They try that. They of bring course. in these little yes. people that have no experience yes, in things, and guess what? And it happens. They bring in this guy. They negotiate. Yep. And they get a deal. So, so, they they bring bring in so on your premises. So if they could just bring anybody in to do it, we would have. We, this wouldn't even be an issue. Absolutely. So they just bring people in, Absolutely. and you and in, 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 out, in, out. But well, it's not that way because because no. like what Larry do, like Larry got a lot of people work for him. Sam got a lot of people work for him, and these are experienced people. So if Sam people went on strike, and 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 and, and his crew can't deliver packages like they normally deliver packages. <laughs> A lot of people not gonna get their stuff till like yeah. three days or right. or, or Sam, you can strip this. You gonna have about trucks coming back saying, "Oh, I don't know this address. I want to chime address. in. I want to chime in. Oh, on okay, can I, can I chime in on that okay. real quick? Um, post office UPS totally different. Um, with us, um, kind of piggyback on what you said about the the money they would make, like eight hundred percent or whatever, right? With UPS. Our contracts are broke down into money phases, right? Mm -hmm. So it's give and take, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say they said, Well, Sam, we're gonna give you eight more dollars in the next five years. Everybody like, oh, they raising their hand, mm -hmm. right? But you're missing all the other stuff that goes on. Let, let, wait, hold on. That is missing that you do not see, right? Mm -hmm. So with our contract right now, right, to be honest with you. It was a bad contract for the company. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, because you have to deal with language in that contract. You got to deal with um, how many times a person can get fired. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, the language changes every five years, right? Mm -hmm. And it only takes one word for that that person, whether it be a part-timer or a full-timer, mm -hmm. to get their money. I'm talking about one word in the contract. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a lot of, a lot of times people don't understand what a contract actually consists of because to be honest with you the company got a bad contract because well, i think we got a good contract but if you're thinking about the company side mm -hmm. no because there's so much money going out mm -hmm. that used to be coming in and the reason why it's going out is because of one simple word two different words you know what i'm saying so i know it's different with the post office and I, I know you was union, whatever, but I'm telling you, like this 800% that they was having, it probably is not going to be that much, Lee. Well, the, the, the thing to remember is this. Both sides have to remember they need each other. Right, right. I agree with that. That's, that's the thing. I remember both sides. I agree with that. I can't, I can't make my money without you. Right. right. And I can't get paid what I'm going to get paid without you. Right. So we have, both sides have to have that understanding. And that's what we. That's why I say, in good faith, mm -hmm. because I have to go to the table knowing 
that I need you, I need my workers. Mm -hmm. And the workers have to come to the table knowing that they need the job. Right. Because if we negotiate ourselves out of business, mm -hmm. it does no one any good. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But you know, at the end of the day, like when I was in the union, one thing about anyone, even when we've been in management, like like Sam just said, these contracts when you sign it, they're they're tiered. Oh yeah. Like you made this this year, this year, this year, this year, this year. So you had to work on those kind of conditions. Yeah. So at the same time, it's like your company. Your one thing about a, one a company, I don't think that they're gonna negotiate themselves out of business. But they but 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 no. When I say negotiate, when I, when I, I'm just saying when I say that it's like. You know what I'm saying, like, when you talking about what these people want, maybe, maybe like, maybe, maybe like the big wigs. No, no company intends to negotiate themselves out of business. Right, right, right. No, 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 no. You, 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 you do have those. You, no, you, right. can, you can put a bad contract in place. Right. That the effects will put you out of business. That's right. what. Well, that's, but that's not. That, <laughs> and, and that's. And, 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 but no, no. That's what the hell I'm saying is. I'm telling you, that's just how UPS feels right no. now. This contract. I'm not. Right. Gonna, it's it's going to put them in turmoil. I'm not saying so far as put them out of business, no, but okay. I'm Lee. But I'm telling you, they are losing a lot more money than they than they used to say they was losing or they was gaining. Just put it that way. It's, I know that I know it because I'm a steward and I see uh, the money coming out. We say same. Hold on. What you say same? It's not about the people. It's, it's, it's not about the people because you have this company where they have money. You have these people on the boards. They have these people that got a lot of stock within the company. That's what he actually How long do you think the, the, the workers for the last the numbers? Numbers. Right. As long as it took. Yeah. As long yeah. as it took. You want to know why? Because, like Lee said, we run this, you're going to lose all this money. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm willing to sit out. Yeah, I won't get a check. But I'm in union, right? Uh -huh. So we will get a check. It might not be three, it's four thousand. Right? Yes, yeah. but I do get a check. So once you have unions, people got to understand a union is together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the purpose of to it. answer your question, it would it would last as long as it took. Mm -hmm. TNT, um, they went on strike for about what about four or five weeks. I don't know if y'all familiar with yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my mother-in-law walked that people. Right, yeah. exactly. So we wasn't able to even deliver to them. Like, yep. if you're in the union, you can't even deliver their packages or nothing, right. period. No, you can't do it, right? Everybody thought it was just gonna last, oh, about a week or so. No, nah, it lasted five, six, six weeks. So what people don't understand, unions are very strong. Yeah. yeah. If you have a big union. Yes. Right. Yeah, so. I think it would have lasted, especially like Lee said, on this Eastern Seaboard. But yes. that, that, you know that's how many, why you know how many people. That's work. why it only lasted yeah. two days. Right. That's it. Because both yeah. sides recognize the the danger in it lasting more than it millions. Yes. Millions. Yes. yes. On Every both day. sides. Oh yes. Because if we're bringing in this much profit, and I'm gonna let this last, it's gonna not only cut into the bottom line, mm -hmm. but it's gonna back everything up. It's it's, it's not good. worth huh. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. not it's not that's, worth that's it. That's the key word right it's there. It's not worth it. And, 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 Sam, and Sam, I remember y'all with y'all last negotiations, there was a y'all lost some money because y'all couldn't deliver for a couple of days or something in there, wasn't it? We did, but this is my thing. We're losing more money with a contract. Wow. Per se, the company. The company. Per se, the company. You see what yes. I'm saying? Yes. yes. Because, because of language in that contract. But then y'all lose some contracts? We lost a lot of contracts. Yes. What, what happened is is um everybody was scared and up in arms yeah. saying, hey, okay, well, you know, I might deliver to a doc, big company, let's just say Biolab, right? Oh, well, y'all finna get ready to go on strike. Okay, we gotta do something. We gotta put something in contingency, right? To get our stuff. To get our stuff. So what was happening is, i.e. FedEx, right? FedEx said, okay, well, we'll take over, but you gotta sign a contract for two years. Yeah. So now we lose that business for two years. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's just one little aspect that yes. UPS is yes. dealing with right yes. now. Right, right. Yes. Because they're losing a lot of money because they they lost a lot of business. Yeah. Because FedEx said, no, I'm not doing it unless you do a two-year contract, which was very smart. Yes, sir. You yes, see sir. what I'm saying? So it goes a long way 
you know, it does. Hey, Will say, you used to say something, it ain't what you're worth, it's what you can negotiate. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, baller. <laughs> what year? <laughs> I can't feed my family. I can't feed my family with that. Well, who told me to have 20 kids? <laughs> uh, <I'm all> right. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Hey, 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 hey. So we finna get y'all out of here. Hey, man. Like I say, my brothers, it's a pleasure to be back. Will saying, you know it's a pleasure for me to be, me and you to be back together again. But um, Coach Wells, it's a pleasure for you to bring us on to be a part of what you're doing. And we just gonna get this thing bigger and bigger. And um, y'all are also gonna be part of this MEU family because they have they're going to allow us to broadcast our show on their internet radio. So you also part of this family out of the classic city, man. And and um, this thing, hey man, I see beautiful things coming out of this. Yep. And I, like I say, man, I appreciate the two of y'all, both of y'all. We are saying, you know, you gotta always got a barber chair in, in the barber shop. Coach Wells, anytime you hear the Classic City, you please stop through. And um, I see y'all, we, we will be on the, 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 the chat mm -hmm. every day, but um, in two, ne not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday afterwards, we'll be back on doing what we do. I appreciate you, brothers. I love you, brothers. And uh, y'all have a good evening. Go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll say. Love you, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, we finna get ready to take a break. And um, we got um, Larry the Legend. Um, he got one of them. Oh, hold on. Can I say one thing first? Yes, you can. Is Will still online? Will. So Hey, Will, man, I just want to, me personally, say thank you, man, because you introduced my boy to a whole new avenue. Yes, you did. And he, and, 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 um. Embracing it. Embracing it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you to death. You definitely fam. Anything you ever need from me and anybody in the barbershop, we got you. Yes, sir. Just know that. You, and you too, Coach Wells. That's all. <laughs> well, love you, boy. We we'll say do. love you, boy. Love you, do. Hey, we gonna take a break, but um, the break is um, the poet called himself Joker, um, Lawrence, um, but um, we gonna take a few minutes and let him do his thing, and we gonna take a break, run a commercial after that, and uh, we, we'll be right back. So I guess we're gonna, we're gonna talk about forgiveness. You're killing me. You know I... I promised myself that the next time I saw your face, that I would tell you all about yourself. That I would finally get these demons out of my head. Get this hatred out of my heart. But since promises were made to be broken, I have chosen to walk a different path. And though my wrath has been relinquished, the sequence of events that led to my pain still reverberate in the echoes of my brain, stained in plain sight, and no amount of might has been able to ease my plight. Fight or flight, wrong or right, despite my desire to maintain the heat of the fire, the weight of my ire had me trapped in the muck and the mire. To be simply put, the cost was too high, and you were simply not worth my soul. My only goal in the second half of my life is peace that it can only be achieved if I do not set myself free. So I forgive you. 
and not for you, but for me. I release the hold that the pain you caused had on me. But please, do not believe that this gives you access back to me. That will never be. My decree is for all to hear and to see. And though at times I may have to flee from the triggers that resurface occasionally, what will be will be. We are no longer bound. Healing is what I have finally found. My footing on solid ground. And if I have to be the villain in your version of the truth, it's cool. That's all up to you. My circle of life knows the pudding of proof. And like aloe, that is enough for my any irritation to be soothed. So I will remove myself from the situation with no further hesitation or explanation, no condemnation or even damnation, just the elation that the expectation of peace can have. When you start this journey on this particular path, the challenges can seem overwhelming. While your spirit is melting like water on wicked witches, pull up your big boy britches and confess, for there is peace to be found in the land of forgiveness. Yeah, don't, just don't move. Hey, you know, I'm trying to mess up.